we're working again in the dark. 2014 Toyota RAV4. Basically a plain car. Let's turn lights on. Regular low beams, but projector. High beams, let's turn high beams on. You see the cutout on trees. High beams. High beams are bright, but they are not LED. So the customer wants both headlights, low beam and high beam. Let's give it All to right. him. While the car is running, because the battery was, I would say, slightly weak, let me explain how this all looks like. So basically, headlight, this is the back of the headlight. The high beam, it's open. Low beam, it's closed. So we have to open this cover. All right, driver's side, passenger side is basically like this. So, we're gonna do low beams first. Let's try to open it up. It's actually most of the time stuck. So what you have to do is kind of pry it, but try to do it from both sides. All right. Counterclockwise and then push it out and there you go there's a low beam right here and that's a surprise for us why it means that it doesn't shoot directly into a projector it shoots on the side of a housing all right let's see what's in there let's turn the headlights off first all right I turn headlights off well what I didn't expect was the daytime running lights so I'll think about that later low beams counterclockwise pull the bulb out what is this uh, press the tab pull the bulb out the tab is right here on top right here here's what we have so basically we are using these type of LED lights. That's the one with the fan, four chips, and ballast. Now, here's the trick to this. We have an issue of fitting the base into a housing right over here. This is 9005. This car uses 9005 for low beams. So, here's what I did. You see how on this one, it has the glass, the seal right here. You have to take the seal off, like I did on this one right here. How did I do it? Well, basically took a blade or knife and you pry this off. Unscrew right here, unscrew the stop. You can unscrew this. I won't, I'm not going to do it because I already did it with this one. It take... Basically, take this glass off and there's a seal right here. Take all of that off. You really don't need it. This headlight is... You know, has a cap and everything on it. Then, where the seal is, it's kind of... There's a groove in here. Basically, plastic towards the end of the bulb right this this piece right here you have to grind it you have to grind it decent amount at least 60% off it's gonna look like this I did it with a blade I didn't have a grinder or nothing like that I don't have most of my tools today you have to grind it off like this then you go back to the car okay and then you have to keep basically testing it. If it fits in, it's good. It fits in. You don't have to put no seals back on, by the way. 
And in my situation, it fits in, but I have to pry. I have to push it in. As I'm pushing, I have to turn it. Now it fits. Now, this, this plug, you connect this plug now. And it goes normal here. I broke it, sorry. It goes normal here. You plug it in with the tab on the top. And go, go turn the headlights on. And here's what you get. The right side is regular, left side is LED. This one is yellowish. This one is slightly bluish, whitish. Now, you have to put everything inside, the ballast and everything. Basically, you can put, well, this is a ballast slash driver. Just like we did in a lot of these other cars. You can put everything inside, everything. See? Yeah, don't worry. It's it's going to be all right in there. Then remember, we had top and bottom. Yeah, make sure everything is inside, nice and neat. All these wires, and you close this. That's why we're using that specific LED style, because you can close this this cover without modification any modifications to the cover see it's in like as if it was factory no to the other side with this other side it's a little tricky to take this off because we have a water bottle right here but everything goes the same exact way turn the counter uh, counterclockwise Sorry for the noise. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of noise. Counterclockwise. And open the cover. Alright. That's it. Do the same thing with the LED conversion and put it in. As you can see, everything is in. I didn't close it because I want to show you. You see? You see how that that uh, conversion kit is all the way inside? Now, let me put everything in. Nice and neat. Let me walk to the side right here. Okay, so it's better to put this driver inside first. Yeah, I'm trying to shoot the video and at the same time do a good job and it's not that easy inside this one goes inside now make sure that cables are out of the fans way because there's a fan over here to keep it cool oh yeah almost forgot and clockwise to, to close it Okay, it's in. Everything is nice and neat. Put small holes in here, in, in here, and in here, right here. That's for extra ventilation. You need clean air to come in. All right, this is how the car looks like. Now, straight to high beams. High beams are relatively easy. All you gotta do is take this bulb out counterclockwise it's also 9005 push on the bottom and pull it apart kind of kind of got to push good a little harder that's it comes apart look at this messed up light bulb now let's take our LED kit so we're gonna use this one oops this one right here why? Because this car has daytime running lights, so the customer said he wants a 
everything to work right. Since we're working with 9005, we have to grind this off. It doesn't really fit inside the car very well. And a little bit more. It still doesn't fit very well. Then you put a seal back and go put it inside the car. Running lights, daytime running lights. 